how to set up a custom email in Shopify. I'm going to show you how to do this in a really easy, easy way. First of all, you need to have a Shopify store. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, just in case you don't have a Shopify store. Now that you have a Shopify store, what you want to do is to focus here to the dashboard. Once we're here into the dashboard, let's go and access the actual navigation. Let's go here and scroll all the way down for going into settings. Now that we're here into settings, what you want to do is to go directly inside notifications. Inside notification, this is the part where you wanted to get started by editing the custom email templates. So what you wanted to do inside here, the hub for configuring various emails notification is to focus first of all and to make sure that your actual website has not been verified. So you see that you have now the confirmation into our email. What you wanted to do is to resend the verification and then later on what you wanted to do is to institute. Come back into your Shopify store and make sure that this one does not appear anymore. Then here we have the customer notification, the staff notification, the fulfillment request, and the web host. So if I click here into the customer notification, this is the part where we can get started by configuring different email customer section and different stages of the journey with the store. Now here, when you have the clicked into each notification type you wanted to customize, such an order confirmation, we have the shipping updates, there's a bound to call out emails, there's a shipping configuration ready for a local pickup. Let's click here into order confirmation. We have now the preview of how it actually going to be appear into the actual email. So you can see we have here the subject. Here's our logo, our order. Thank you for your purchase. We're getting our order ready to be accepted. We'll notify you when it has to be sent. Here's our order, confirmation, customer support information, and all of that. So you want to edit something else, go here and to edit the code. And automatically is going to be showing us the actual code to uh, edit it. We can customize the look and feel across all email notification from the customi customized email templates later on. Now, if you wanted to see more about your brand, you wanted to make sure that everything has not been set up directly inside here. Let's click here into brand. And here, as you can see, we have the sense Yoast and the digital, for example, the cover image, the logo, the show description, and so much more. You can even add a cover image. In this case, let's say, for example, it could be adding this one. Customizing the email templates. You can click into each notification. You can uh, edit as I just told you guys directly inside the edit coding. But if you don't want to mess around with the custom uh, events and the custom notification of your products, what you can do is to add a third party. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to edit the cost, the order confirmation, of course. So customizing email templates should not be that hard. For example, let's go and adding our logo. And here I'm going to scroll uh, all my way down and try to find my custom logo, which in this case is going to be this one. Here I'm going to go for done. And here's my logo size. I can make this uh, smaller, bigger, whatever. Now here into the car list, I can accent in a specific color. Let's say, for example, that in our case, it should be something like a little purple, but something much more like this. And now we have now saved to update the preview. So if I hit into save, the order confirmation has now been saved and check out how it actually looks. So I can change the actual color for something like this and try to be more accurate for what I'm actually looking for since everybody's going to be looking like this in a blank space. So here is the actual element where it's been set it up. So as you can see, it doesn't look that bad. I'm going to try to make my logo size a little bit much more uh, smaller. Saved it and check out how it actually looks directly inside my order confirmation. So let's go back here. And lastly, if you wanted to do so much more than that, what you can do is to focus inside the actual applications. And here, let's go for uh, email. Now I'm here into the actual app store of Shopify. So here, what you want to do is to focus inside email. Now, email is an actual application that was created uh, by Shopify and for Shopify. So this application is going to be helping us to create emails in minutes and we can do so much more. So we're going to open this application. If you don't have this, you can install this totally for free since you are a user inside of Shopify. Inside email, what you wanted to do is to get started in creating an actual new campaign. For example, let's say for example, they have the left items at the checkout or I can customize the template branding. So I can click here and you see here that uh, is our actual custom made product. So let's go here to select the image. Now I can change to my actual elements. Now the things has been set up correctly. What I can do is just to hit into saved and my template has now been saved it on. I'm going to hit now into exit and I can create a new campaign 
And as you should see now, the actual elements, uh, the way you just edit it should be appearing right away. So I can start by adding, for example, a new sale element. Check out how it actually looks. Sales now, we can create an online store appearance that has now been opened, uh, the birthday of our store, and so much more. As you should see, actually, it's not that hard to get started with an actual uh, blanked or whatever try here into our actual elements inside Shopify, guys. So, guys, there you have it, guys. Once satisfied, you hit now into save and you can start by customizing your emails. And there you have it. Setting up a custom emails inside Shopify store in 2024 without having to use a third party elements, everything inside Shopify, really easy, really fast, and of course, for free. If you find this guide helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more insights, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for joining us today. Hit the close and icon notification and customer satisfaction with customers' email in Shopify. Remember, you have the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free inside Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.